Hello everyone, it's Jeffrey again. Today, here on the channel, I am going to be reacting, I'm going to be reacting to Beyond Seattle Eats, Seattle Eats, over, over video called Pizza Hut's New Spicy Lover's Pizza, we tried all three. So yeah, I'm pretty much going to be reacting to this video. So before I even start, I want to give a disclaimer here. If you do not like the content I make, the reaction videos, or any of the other stuff I do on my channel, if you don't like them, then don't watch and go somewhere else because what we're gonna be doing is giving me a view. And that's the damn truth, everyone. That's the damn truth. So, yeah, without further ado, let's get into the video right now. On to the video. Hi, guys. Welcome back to our channel. It's food time. It is food time. Isabel and I are really, really hungry. And Nuff texted me this morning and let me know that Pizza Hut has a new Spicy Lovers mm -hmm. Pizza. Actually, they have three. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we ordered three. all three. They're kind of a good deal. They're cheaper than the regular like specialty pizzas at Pizza mm -hmm. Hut. So what we've got, let's see if I can hold that up there. We've got a veggie. Mm -hmm. That's the chicken uh, pineapple. And then um, pepperoni, double pepperoni. So they have like the regular pepperoni and the cut. All right, Isbo. So it is pizza time. We are hungry. Let's go. Which slice do you want to try first? Uh, I'm going to go from what I think I'm least excited for to the most excited. Oh. So. The chicken pineapple. pineapple? Yeah, I mean, it's still gonna be good, but. <laughs> so I love chicken on a pizza, which not everybody does. And I like pineapple on a pizza. Mm. I am biased about pineapple because both of my parents are from New Jersey, but I will eat mm. it. It's just not, I have a personal bias about mm. it. Um, so before you take a bite, I just wanna say what makes this spicy is it has a spicy marinara. Spicy. I don't know what that means. A little, little spicy. I what's in it. A little and bit of spicy. You can see it on the veggie really good, but they put red, jalapenos on all of the slices. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Izzy's hungry. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Mm. Actually, the pineapple works pretty well with the jalapenos. Yeah. Mm. And it's a decent amount of spice. It's not like... Yeah. I feel a little tingle, but... Yeah. Anybody could eat this. Mm -hmm. Unless, of course, you absolutely hate spicy food. Mm -hmm. yeah. If you put Tabasco, mm -hmm. Tapatio, Cholula, any of those like basic hot sauces on mm -hmm. any of your food, you'd be okay with this. Oh, and they put chili flakes on there as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I forgot to mention that. But they're just your basic like red pepper flakes. Mm -hmm. They just put on pizza and you're like... Yeah. Um, what else was I going to say? Oh, originally, Izzy and I were just going to order one of each in the small, but I will tell you this pizza only comes in large. <laughs> it has a really cute, like, special spicy pizza box. I'll put a picture of that up. Um, but the price, at least where we live, was fourteen ninety nine for large pizza, which is cheaper than their regular specialty pizzas, so I felt like it was worthwhile. Mm-hmm. Mm. You got down, girl. It was good. Mm. For the interest of time, I'll save that. <laughs> now the pepperoni? the pepperoni next, because I think the mm -hmm. veggie pizza is probably going to be the best. We really like Supreme pizzas. It's our favorite. And well, the veggie pizza is probably going to be the closest to that. It's everybody else's favorite in my family. It's not my favorite, but yeah. Uh, what's your favorite? Um, Cheeseburger pizza... Or I like the taco pizza. I'm talking about like Domino's. Mm. But the classic cheeseburger pizza. They brought it back. It's not quite the same formula. Um, okay, so that's the pepperoni pizza. Okay. Mm. And the red habaneros feel like they might be slightly pickled or something. They're very mm. soft, mm -hmm. which I know they're baked but they feel extremely soft. Mm. 
I think it could use some more sauce, the pizza. Mmm. It's a little dry. It is a little dry. But more spicy marinara. You know what I bet they're doing? Mm -hmm. They're probably being really frugal with the sauce so they can extend the life of the spicy lover's pizza. Because typically when they have these limited edition items, there's only so much. So right now you might hear teenage boys in the hallway. Bishop has friends over. And his friend works at Arby's. You know, I loved that new um, Diablo Dare sandwich. Well, it ran out really quickly in our area. And it's because they ran out of the sauce. I love that you're enjoying this. <laughs> I love me some pizza. Mm -hmm. And I love me mm -hmm. some spicy stuff. So. Mm -hmm. I haven't had pizza in a while. So the other thing I would note, and this maybe isn't fair, everybody has their own favorite fast food pizza, if they like pizza, of course. I prefer Domino's because I like the herbs and the mm. seasoning that they put on the crust. Pizza Hut crust is a little dull to me. And mm. Pizza Hut crust, at least on these, it's it's a bit thinner, actually, mm. I would say. No. Yeah. All right. And don't worry, I am going to eat the rest of this. But Izzy's just faster than me today. She's got that teenage metabolism. Mm -hmm. All right, so this is the veggie pizza. So gorgeous. We are most excited for this one. Really so this nice. has onion, mushroom, and green pepper. Mm -hmm. It looks really good. Um, My lips are feeling a little tingly. How about yours? Um... My tongue is. Okay. But I wouldn't say my lips. Definitely the more you eat, the more you feel it. Yeah, but it's definitely not like, I would say it's even less than like having a bag of Takis. Okay. All right. I knew this one was gonna be the best. It still needs more sauce though. Mm -hmm. Well, since the veggies, are not as dry as like the pepperoni per se. It is, it is more moist. Yeah. How do people feel about that word? I <laughs> know that's a divisive word. But I feel like you can use it when you're talking about food. Mm-hmm. Mm. Shall we rank them? Oh no. So, bottom rank. Still really good, in my opinion, but just my least favorite. It is in regular pizza, even if it wasn't spicy, but pepperoni. I don't like pepperoni pizza that much. It's pretty boring to me. And usually the pepperoni is too crispy. Hmm. So, that's how I feel about it. Um, second place would be the pineapple and chicken pizza. The mm -hmm. sweet balance, I like it. Mm -hmm. I like sweet and savory mixes. And then veggie pizza on top, because it had the best sauce ratio, because the veggies were already kind of soft. Um, and also, I just really like it pieces with many different toppings because each mm -hmm. bite is different. That's exactly how I was going to rank them, which is surprising because you all heard how I feel about pineapple and pizza, but it was just more flavorful and it is interesting. The pineapple works really well with the fresh jalapenos. Mm -hmm. The pepperoni was fine, but it's yeah. definitely like bottom tier than the pineapple and the veggie is by far the best. My recommendation to you, and we almost did this, but we ordered mm -hmm. some other pizzas too. Huh. Since our family loves a Supreme, you can order this uh, spicy veggie pizza, add sausage, add pepperoni, yeah. and it still only comes out to like $19 and something, which again, like regular. it's huh. the same as their other specialty pizzas. So that's a little hack for you, my suggestion. But we do have six people in this house, so hmm. we uh, needed to bank on as much pizza as we could. Mm -hmm. So key level, one out of 10. I would put... So, just for people, I'm gonna guess most people have had Takis. So, if Takis are like a four, I would put this is a like two and a half. Hmm. Okay, so for average people. Yeah. Mm. My personal ranking, I'd give it a one out of ten. There is heat present. I can tell that there's spice in this, but yeah, it's not like gonna blow you away. I honestly. I still think that the Arby's uh, Diablo Dare is the spiciest fast food thing out there. I would say like a num like a number one on my rank list would be like pickled jalapenos that you would put on a burger. Okay. And people are pretty 
uh, not as liberal with those. They put like mm. maybe three in there, and eating it with a whole burger, you can't really taste it. So that's what I'd put as a one. So yeah, I think this would be like a two and a half. Hmm. You think it's hotter than that? Yeah. Hmm. Because there's there's less things that are um mm. piling on top of it. That's a good point, and in particular with the veggie pizza. Because there's less fat in there because you don't have the meat toppings. Mm -hmm. It's a little spicier, I would say. Yeah, it's also the last one we ate. So again, stuff builds. But yeah, but yeah I'd definitely get both the pineapple one again and the veggie one. I think we should get the veggie one again and we should add meat. Yeah. I hope they keep these around. Yeah, that's really all I have to say about that. I'm going to finish this off camera because the review is done. But with that... <laughs> This is Pizza Hut's new Spicy Lovers Pizza Review. I am Katie Prettyman, the world's okayest competitive eater. This is my daughter, Isabel, and we are hoping that you have a spicy and lovely day. All right, bye. Bye. Yeah. So yeah, that's pretty much it of this reaction wheel, and I'm stopping it right there. So yeah, I hope you guys like this reaction wheel, and I hope you guys like it. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and turn those notification bells on. Every time I upload and share my videos and react videos to your friends and family also. If you want to, it's your choice because I ain't making ya. So yeah. And don't forget to subscribe to Beyond Seattle, Seattle Eats if you do. Subscribe if you haven't yet. Subscribe to her channel if you haven't yet. You like the stuff that she does on her channel. And plus some of the stuff that she does with her daughter also. So yeah. And of course, who knows what else. So yeah. And that's pretty much. So yeah. And that's. So yeah, and that's it pretty much in this reaction wheel. And we're on the road to two K subscribers and maybe three K subscribers. So yeah, and that's pretty much the end of this reaction wheel. And I'll see you all for more banger reactions to come. And I'll see you all in the next time. Jeffrey Jordan signing out and peace out everyone.